in order for you to understand, I think you need to look into your own experience and recognize that, that it's very, very tricky to make the distinction between, well, other than the physical aspect, which is obvious, and that's a very clear line, and there's no, you can't, mis you can't make any mistake about that. Mm -hmm. But there is a gray zone before, let's call it before, the, the physical contact, mm -hmm. where, the, where the line between spiritual love or platonic love and intimacy and romantic love and intimacy is very difficult to distinguish because the, the flavor is, some of the flavors mm -hmm. are so much the same. So that's why I'm asking you, because I think that if you look into your own experience, and I'm open for the possibility that it's different for men and than for women. Mm -hmm. So that's also why I'm interested to know if we if we can talk about it uh, as as if we're both looking at the same thing. Yeah. Um, for me, the romantic movement, you know, the, that, that there's a sort of switch that goes on when suddenly you're aware of a different kind of dynamic, you know, a different something different enters into the exchange and I find that very uh recognizable I don't I don't find that difficult to perceive or recognize I I find it really it nothing to do with even with this with the sexual aspect as yet perhaps sure. but just the romantic that there's a certain uh frisson or a certain um uh you know, suddenly, you know, you're kind of like, oh, is my hair, you know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> there's a certain um, quality that's very distinguishable as I experience it. That's, that's very different from, from a, you know, from a, 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 a deep and intimate spiritual connection. I, I find them in different, quite different worlds. I don't, I don't see so much that gray area. I think the atmosphere changes quite, quite a lot in the presence of, of the romantic aspect. So maybe that's why we had a different perception. Yeah, maybe, maybe let's talk about it some more. I can, I can tell you mm. that I have experienced some, something like falling in love. Mm with 82 year old Catholic nuns and with fat old men as much <laughs> <laughs> because, because of the uh, spiritual connection between us. And to me, that was that is even more powerful than the romantic falling in love, but it has also some of the flavor of romantically falling in love. I find, oh, I, I, I'm, I'm struggling to, to feel what you're saying in my own experience, because yes. I find that the love, the, that, that love for the fat old whoever, mm -hmm. or what have you, or yeah, who, whoever it is, that there's a there's a quality to that love that doesn't have anything else in it. For me, it doesn't have anything else in it. It is just that, you know, it's like I think it happens often in our conversations that we share a we share a love. And I, I find that love very pure. You know, there's like a um that that's a yeah, that's a very precious thing. Um, so, so let's, let's talk about that for a minute. Okay. Yeah. Because for example, mm -hmm. with you and with some of the other people that I experienced falling in love with, there is a lot of giggling and teasing going on, mm -hmm. which again, in my experience, it borders on the romantic uh, game, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. 
If you wanted it to, if you wanted to interpret it like that, if you had, if there was an aspect of your own nature that was available to that or wanting that or interested in that, you could interpret that those teasings and games and so on in that context. Yeah. But they're, they're not, I don't find them part of that context. I, I find, I, this is, um, what, is, what would the words be? Um, this is, that's part of the joy and playfulness of the spiritual intimacy. Absolutely, absolutely. And it is part of the uh, courting romantic game. Yeah, but it's different, you see, because okay, if let's I... let's talk about the differences. The different, well, the thing is, suddenly what i what i think when when say for example when when we're playing together mm. um there's no i don't find my in myself any self-consciousness as a woman trying to seduce you i don't find any self-consciousness suddenly if the romantic thing enters into the sphere and in, enters into the engagement suddenly there's a self-conscious oh oh you know i you know, like I'm a sexual being and I'm in, I'm in the market or, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm, um, I'm playing in this field and suddenly there's that you, the mirror is not only the, the focus is not only on the other, but the focus is very much on oneself and how one's coming across. And, and there's a, there's a, um, there's a quality of getting something out of it for oneself. The focus, instead of being somehow completely open and no agendas and no anything really except for the play and the love itself 